Hello. Surprise. I know, right? I never ever come live this time of night. And especially on a Saturday. I think it's Saturday. I don't know. Could be. Who knows? But we're going to do some live stream painting here. I think, maybe, if I can possibly do everything to work right. Chairs in the way? I know. Oh, wait. Probably should turn this on. Get a little late in this subject. Probably should come over here and turn on my speech chat. Just saying. Good idea. Hi, Sonia. Give me one second. Anyway, I'll turn on music in a second. So, not sure what we're going to paint tonight. We're definitely going to paint something. Just saying, you know, canvas, me. And her. Me and she's stuff. Probably, and she's probably all stressed out about it. She'll get over it. Jinx. What? You can do it. You can do it. Okay, Arnold. Wait. Why? Okay, that's better. It's another crooked cabin. Another crooked cabin? <laughs> yeah. Are we doing crooked cabins? What would you like to paint? I have blue. Well, I already kind of started. Oh, so I have to catch up? You do. Totally have to catch up. Are we doing mountains, blue color? Do you want? Let's get some music involved here. I told you I was. What I was doing. I know, but, you know. I figured if I'm going to turn this thing on, the computer, the computer, the camera. Ooh, red deck music. Oh, how come I don't have any chat here? Oh, there we go. Can't help you with that. Does that sound loud? Um, a tad. Mm. Oh, that's because your volume is 100%. Could be. There we go. Okay. So, I already did a blue sky with clouds. Blue sky. Oh, look. I don't have to use a mitten. No, I mean, I have. <laughs> um, what color blue are we doing today? Let's go. Hey, Nosh. Okay, there's my blue sky. That's awesome. What? That's a cluster? Oh, okay. No, I said that's awesome. I didn't say cluster. Don't put words in my mouth. Smart. Smarty pants. Potty mouth. I didn't even say it. Jim's not here. He's out. Really? Really? I can't even get the plastic off my things without me. You and plastic just don't get along. Just admit it. I know. I no, plastic and I don't get along. Seems like I leave it on everything. We're bound and determined to get paint on that painting I did today. So what did you think of today's painting? It was awesome. Nothing like uh, doing a little finger paint. And you were all stressed out about it. 
Hey, Arlene, how are you? Hey, Arlene. Hope you guys are doing well. Staying out of the weather. Let's grab just a tiny touch of... Uh, you, you probably don't have purple in yours, but hey, whatever. Um, no, there's no purple in there. No purple involved at all. Well, you know me. I gotta be different. So what'd you think of snow? She's so polite. <laughs> Like I saw snow. Okay, so we got some sky. Close. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Too cold. Oh, it's just snow. I don't know how you can deal with heat all the time. So, do you have? I have snow. It's snowing right now. Again? Oh, yeah, it's been snowing all day. Oh, okay. Um, I have a video probably going to come out tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe I'll save it. No, I'll do it be next day or two. They went by my house today with their Jeeps all lit up with uh, the Christmas lights all over them. Oh, really? Yep. Yep. LED technology. It's pretty cool. So, what else did you paint? Um, Ground? Ground, yes. Green ground? Green ground. ground. Green ground. Any particular color green? Dope. It, it was sap and light. Okay, green ground. Kind of a mix with a little bit of purple in it. Just the kind of gonna go with English ivy and lime green because it'll give me kind of a variance in color. Little darks, little lights in there. Come, you're not showing your artwork, huh? 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 Cause I suck. Whatever. <laughs> That was the other day for me. Yep, she's got sappy brown. Sappy green, probably. Kind of an interesting color, sap green. Let's go. Uh, like the dark green. Let's go with this. Put a couple little spots of. How are we doing? Getting there? Uh, yep. I'm gonna grab just a tiny bit more of my lime green. Cause I just want to throw in a few spots here and there. I don't know if I can spin this around and spin this around and paint this way and spin this around. Like, you don't get a good angle. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, now look at that statement. Colder than a well digger's butt in the bottom of a 20-foot well. Arlene? No. Not no. Arlene. Arlene didn't type that. Nope. Hi, old boy. We know Arlene didn't type that. I don't know if this will work or not. Probably not, because I really can't see what I'm doing. Oh, well. Well, green saps after it spoils for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, cabin over there, right there, okay, right there, yep, yep, okay. What color cabin are we doing? Let's see, let's grab some brown. What do we have for brown? No, are we going to go brown? No, 
Let's go. Burnt Sienna? No. Let's go Raw Sienna. I didn't really see what color yours was. Grayish colored? No, it's... Uh, burnt Umber. I got Burnt Umber. Kevin. 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 Trees. Are we doing trees? I haven't gotten to the tree part yet. I was thinking about trees, though. So, gonna just touch into my... Payne's Gray at the same time as Raw Sienna. Like so. Touch of, uh, I don't know, let's throw some blueberry in that gray color. Yep. Kind of a bird. <laughs> You're on a blueberry kick today. Well, it's just a cool color. We'll come Blue. back in. We need that a little darker. Blue cherries. Purple, purple, purple. Yeah, sure, why not? Just gonna bring these in there real quick. Kind of like so, maybe, sort of, kind of. Touch of white in that color. I don't know. Probably because one's cooked and one isn't. I don't know. You have to ask it. I wasn't in that meeting, I guess. We're going to fix that line down there. We don't have to worry about it right this second. What am I doing? Yours is a lot smaller than mine. Have I caught up almost? Yep. <clears throat> True. She's on a roll. She is. So, dark green right here. Let's uh, go with purple. Purple and English ivy, which is that deep, kind of a deep brown green. <clears throat> yeah. 
still painting? Yep. Am I painting too fast? No, you're going up already. <laughs> Probably blow right by me in a minute. Sorry. <laughs> Rumor has it that I do that occasionally. I'm not easy to follow along with. You're more like following me. <laughs> Why is this thing freaking crooked? Why is that happening? What? I said, why is this thing crooked? Why does that happen? What's crooked? Like, see? We gave it the saggy roof thing? Yeah. Let me grab just a tiny touch of white. We're going to kind of swipe it in right here. Maybe a little bit more. What's well, sagging? Wait. What can I help you with? Answering why these things always come out crooked. What, so you mean your buildings? Yes. Crooked's okay. But do you give yourself a point of reference when you paint? Like, do you have a point here where you're drawing? Yeah, I try to keep it as straight as I possibly can. I mean, and I'm just eyeing it. I really don't have a point of reference. Obviously, they don't have to be completely straight, but... Oh, you don't have a point of reference? No, I just kind of just started painting it. Well, <clears throat> the easiest thing... When I first started painting them, was I'd paint my spot, and then I'd actually take way on the outside, you know. I I'd, I'd give myself a point of, you know, like right here. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, Anthony? And yeah, you can even go so far as like Anthony does, but he uses tape. You can actually give yourself a point. Anthony's got a great video on it, on the point of reference stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guesstimated this one. It's probably way off, but... Because I've kind of tweaked the... So that's pretty good there. Hey, Madonna. Hey, Madonna. That line is just about dead on and if that was not sagged it would be and don't forget you can always add trees and all kinds of stuff to them and buildings to, I mean I don't do buildings much because I get stressed about how they have to look they really don't have to look like that. You know? They can look any shape you want them to. Yeah, but it's doing that... thing again. Which... It's, it's doing one of these things. I mean, not horrible, but... Well, enough to notice. Let me just pop that in here. Picture. How am I going to do this? Just do what you did a second ago. Or move it over in front of you. I don't know. Oh, okay. Look at the ease of your... Of your roof line. Yeah. They're going to hang out a little bit on the sides most of the time. Your windows are going to be straight.
straight with the direction that you're, you've got your point of reference to. But hold on one second. Give me two seconds here. I'll put my paintbrush down before I just wipe it off. Unless I bring the bottom down a little bit, but I don't know. Let's do it this way. <clears throat> Just so you can understand it easier. Let's click the music off. Stop pushing that button. Why do I take screenshots of my picture of my screen every <laughs> single time? I kind of sort of maybe cheated. On how to help you fix this. What was that? Well, cause I may have invited Anthony. He'll be here in a second. As soon as he gets his stuff turned on. <laughs> 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 Let's get somebody that can really explain it to you and is actually a teacher that teaches you know, this stuff all the time. Cause for me to try to explain it to you. Because I could tell you that your front edge should be going away from you. You know where your door and your windows are? Yeah. They should actually be heading up, not down, or not straight across. You're building straight across. I thought it was a lefty thing because... Well, I'm getting a lefty to help you. That's part of the thing is I'm... He's... Which would be cool, because it would be so much easier for him to explain it, I'll tell you. But, see how it goes? Mine kind of goes up and away a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Mr. Anthony. Hey, Anthony. Hey, Hello. Okay. You can explain this way better than I can, because you do... Buildings way more than I ever do. Okay, what's going on? She has is she's having a tough time getting her shapes for her buildings to look. Well, she can explain it. Do you see how it's sloping? Yeah. That's okay. A perfect, that's a perfect, uh, issue there. Um, your slope on the top is fine. If the one on the bottom, you have to bring it, you have to angle it a little more. So, the corner nearest us, keep it the same. You have to shorten the, um, the corner on the left. So, shorten yep, this that corner. Has to go high. So, can I just bring this one down to kind nope, of. That corner fine. The one oh, nearest. Yeah, you can. You just have a much taller building. Yeah, well, you know. So you can bring this one down to make up for that. Yep. Get your paint out. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. No, you can just call him Anthony. 
<laughs> so So bring the whole line down or just this line here? Just that line there. And what you're going to do is you're going to um, make an angle from that new lower line to right where it is on the uh, extreme left. And it'll, it'll look even. It'll look in perspective. Bruce, you know I'm visual. I can't see this. Yeah. <laughs> He's basically saying, here, Spice Girls, y your building needs to have kind of Yep. Your lines, your lines need to meet at some point, and right now your lines are kind of doing this number. Right. You get what I'm saying, Sonia? Your your building's doing this. Yeah. Where your building really needs to be doing this. Mine's messing you up because I, I put that dip in the roof like it's kind of falling in. Right. But if you if you look, my lines are still going to. I'm kind of got mine going this way, but right, um, your vanishing is uh, your vanishing point um, on the top and the lower part of that side of the building. If you had a vanishing point, they would, it would they both would meet at the vanishing point. Right now, it looks like you have two separate vanishing points going in the same direction. Yeah, you got, you got to pick a direction. Whether it's going to go taper this way or it's going to taper this way. Right now, you have it kind of. They're both headed. tapered down. Yeah. So take the one with the door and either start at the point you have right here, Sonia. Yeah. And come down further and then go back up to this point. Okay. Okay. That'd be the easiest one for that shape, right? Anthony. So bring this one yeah. down and then just color this in. So, so basically, well, for that. the for the uh, for the more rectangle ones she has, um, she could actually the one on the bottom there. She can make it go straight across. Those are actually pointing like upward, both of them. Actually, all three of them: the, the roof line, yeah. the bottom yeah, roof line, the bottom of the house. They're all pointing in the same direction. They're all headed like that. <laughs> right. Right. And they so should they be sh uh, they should be straight. So it should be like this. Yes. All three of them on that side. Yes. I just That's right. for, for me I just I just do them, you know, cuz I <laughs> Anthony's Pounded it into me to make sure that I get my direction. Trust me, Sonia. I've been to where you're at right now. It, it took a lot of him saying, hey, no, 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 change that. Yeah, you'll get it. You'll get it. So if I bring, if I bring this line down, like here, okay. Yes, that will be straight. It will be equal with your horizon line in the back. Okay. All three of those lines need to be like your horizon line back there, straight across. Yep. This yes. one might. This one might be like beyond help. Nope. Nope. No well, such thing. Well, I'm only saying that because there's paint above it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Put blue. Then it's not gonna. It's not gonna match. Skies are all one color blue. Yeah, you can cover that up. That's no problem. You see what I'm saying? And then what about? Then just make this. Bring this one. Bring this line down, and then just color it in. Just paint it in. Yeah, you can bring that a little lower and just make it make it um, straight. Yeah, because that line right there where you're pointing still has to be angled to the uh, the bottom left. One. Well, 
I tell you what, just let's do it a line at a time. Okay. Thank you, Edvy. <sighs> you relax, you. You'll get it. You'll be all right. All right. So let's grab this thing. I have to move this a little bit so I can see what I'm doing here. So I need my knife. Where's my knife? Yeah, no stress. Relax. It, 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 it's so easy just to change what you want to do. It's just paint. Like you know, you can always over. You can always paint over. That's a pretty wonky tree I got going. <laughs> hey, actually, now. I actually have to do this because I have no room left on this paper. Did you get your fish? Did you get your fish finished, Anthony? No way. <laughs> That was a pretty intense, big, big piece. Holy cow. Yes, uh, 24 by 30, 38, something like that. 24 by 32, okay. something like that. Hey, no. So, right. 24 by 36, it's 2 by 3 feet. So that's like the big yellow one I painted with the mountains and the trees. I mean, that's my whole board. I don't even know if I can zoom out that far. <laughs> Breathe. Did you hear what Nell said? No, I didn't read it yet. Be one with the perspective. <clears throat> Is that straight? I can't tell. It feels like it's straight. You can always... Measure, you know, and mark your tape. Don't be afraid to put a piece of tape out there, you know, where you can have your line. I break out the big ruler all the time. Yeah, but... Mm. What? I mean, uh, what? No <laughs> use. It's okay to use uh, measuring devices. Relax, you're fine. It's all by the hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll get his you. you'll get his bell. <laughs> <laughs> if that was the case, Anthony, boy would I owe you a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I do the same exact thing for the one on the bottom. Okay. Is that straight? I guess it's straight. Yeah, it's straight. Okay. I hope nobody's laughing at me here. Nope. Not here. The nice thing is most of the people here are artists. Yeah. She needs to get herself one. You need one of these, Sonia. What? Oh, a T square? In the worst way. They're not actually not even that expensive. Next trip to Michael's. Sonia. <laughs> Is that straight? Um, it doesn't look straight to me. Sorry, Anthony. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. No, we don't want that color. All right, that looks straight. Yeah. That color. All right.
this freaking thing out of your hand first. Okay. Yes. Is that straight? I guess. Yeah, looks like it. So far. Okay. Uh, purple. Grab some purple. Throw away my green. Sorry, just a habit to talk. <laughs> this is going to be a complete and utter mess. Oops, mess that up. Good, I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. I gotta take my glasses off. It's too close for my glasses. Carried away with the size of that there shadow. Just a shape. But yeah, very much so. Hey, Cookie. <laughs> oh, how am I going to get that line on those wires to show up? Oh, I can just use a dark green. I'm just gonna pretend they're there. Uh, My barn only comes with one door, I think. Yeah. Thirty, Jim. So my barn only comes with one door. <laughs> Too lazy <laughs> to put a window or a door over here. Paper. Yeah. Sorry, right. texture. You can just kind of color it. Oh, trust me. You paint on paper, you'll be tearing a lot of it. 
Oh, yeah. A way too much, actually. So does that make it look any better? You take you gotta take the black um paint and you're going to go from that bottom line and you're gonna um bring it to the uh, the line to the left. So take the uh your black paint and make that angle from your new low point of that corner right to the uh the left hand line on the bottom. Over this one? Yes. So I need another piece of tape then. Okay. Do you have a flat paintbrush, Sonia? Just like a half inch flat or a three quarter flat or something, or one inch flat? It's something that's got a little bit of a chiseled, you know, one of these. Yeah. That might be easier for you to do than trying to use a knife at this point. You know, because you can just basically sharpen it really sharp, wipe it off so it's just got the paint on the tip, and just touch it across, you know. Do more of a tap-tap type of deal, you know. Because you, you can put grass there and all that stuff. So the bottom doesn't... The, as long as you've got that part that's near the building kind of tight, the rest of it you can kind of put grass and hedges or whatever you want. And... It's your fault you asked me to paint. Yeah, I know you would do this. Whatever, but look at <laughs> You're getting more help than I could ever give you. And start. We're going to do this live. Whatever. <laughs> I still have I still have more to, trees to put in. Or cows. No, no cow. Wait, could I do a cow? I don't think so. I don't know. I've never painted a cow. Have you ever painted a cow, Anthony? Um, uh, yes. <laughs> I've never done a cow. Come think of it, I actually have no horizon line either. It kind of disappears over there. Oops. Probably should put some hills back there or something. Yep. Actually, I could just pretend they're back there in the fog. Yeah, that's it. We'll go with that. In the fog. Cow. No. No. I'm going to try a cow. We're going to have a cow, dude. Did not just for a cow because that would be nosh. Boy, these paintbrushes just completely disintegrated on me. Those little ivory handle things I got. Mm. Wow, they just came apart in pieces. Okay. Oh, paint's gray. Black. No, paint's gray. No, let's do them white first. We'll put black spots on them. Now, are cows black with white spots or white with black spots? Either or. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's 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 contention here. We we know it's a question that's been out there for a long time. I, I think they would come out the same way no matter which way you did it. Actually, a lot of the cows we had were actually black with white spots because you could actually, when you, sometimes you had to shave them to put in like a port or something like that and it was dark fur and the white fur was kind of on top. 
Oh, maybe I should paint this on something else first. Brown cows. Okay. <coughs> I bet Sonia never asked me to paint again. <laughs> Nope, that looks more like a bear. Okay. How could somebody that's seen so many cows not very very good at painting cows? Alright, so that's that. Purple cows. Actually, you know, she's going to want me to put hippopotamuses in there or something. Don't even say it, because, you know, it'll, you know, t the other day it was jumping fish, so, yeah. Yeah. That's, you're lying out. What did he say? What was that, Anthony? Your vertical line, you have to have it a little more straight. Okay, this one right here. Yep. I'm going back to trees. He's like, I'm going back to trees. Safer. Cows. Can't do cows. I don't think I'm ready for cows yet. I'm still learning how to paint. I think no hippos. I want a tree there. No. No. Yep. How the heck am I gonna... Get the line straight, and then you can actually just take a lighter brown. You almost, you almost should just make the line disappear with like a light brown and then put a new line in. That's my opinion, though. I'm just trying to line up my sh thing here. You were going to say a potty word. <laughs> How do you know that? Really? <laughs> I'll just maybe pick some places for birdies to land. Just kind of pop that tree in there like that. Kind of like that color, that green with the purple in it. I like that color. It's kind of a nice deep color. Bob Ross used a fan brush, and I'm in love with this. It's like the only brush you use ever. For trees? Yeah. Yeah, it's because they do beautiful branches for me, and I just... Just comfortable with it. Maybe a little something sticking out right here. A little bigger right here. Got a little different shape right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good looking tree. We'll go with that. Grab just a little bit of the Payne's Gray, a little purple in there. Oop. Got too much of that in there. I'm so glad Jim isn't home. <laughs> Why is that? Because he'd be sitting there staring at me, at me, which would make it even worse. You're fine. Relax. Nobody's staring at you. Nobody's watching you. Relax. There's nobody here. Well, okay. A few people, but don't stress about it. 
And let's kind of just put a little bit in here. I'm talking just trying to relax you, Sonia. Mm -hmm. And we'll just kind of move that over that way. And kind of throw that one in. Maybe we'll just come this way a little bit. Does it look like anything yet? Get in there. You gonna paint the green on the bottom? Am I gonna mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Can I finish the dinosaurs first? No, no, no. Dinosaurs come second. Dinosaurs! Wait, oh shh, don't talk about dinosaurs. Oh man, she'll be wanting me to put dinosaurs in it. Wow, she wants hippos. No. What? She's got the poop emoji in there too. Bears, foxes, poop, what? <laughs> <laughs> wow. It says no, she she's on she's in a rare form today. Alright, here goes nothing. He's like sitting there. What? Ah, you mm, silly wabbit. You're fine. Oh. Relax. It's going to be a different color for now. I bet you didn't know you were going to be sitting on a live stream tonight, did you, Anthony? Nope. <laughs> Not at all. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna kind of owe you this time, aren't I? <laughs> somebody didn't tell me that that was gonna happen. Well, I just asked him, <laughs> and he teaches people to paint all the time, so that's it, what he does. You're still doing the Home Artist Academy, right? Yeah, I haven't been on there in quite some time. Well, you're kind of sort of a little busy. <laughs> yeah. Feeling better? Yeah. I'll still keep an occasional contact with them, though. They ever figure out why you had the issues you did? Stress? Oh, um... Bad food? <laughs> yeah, more, more like the food. Just the diet. Yeah, diet's great, isn't it? Not so much. I miss real food. I really do. I taste the real food. I really. My family's eating manicotti, and I'm sitting there looking at it going, boy, I really, really, really want some of that. Yeah, well, you know, it's kind of a heredity thing. It runs into males in our family at a certain age. All right. Is, does it, did I save it? Did it happen? Did it work? Is it okay? Way better. Almost, almost could go sharper with the angle on the bottom, though. No? Yep. But you know, she can um, correct that with uh, grass or whatever. Yep. Yep. You see the bottom left-hand corner, Sonia? Over here? Yeah. What about it? It, in, in my opinion, for me, I almost would like to see it a little higher up. You know where you can see the double line where it gets a little thick? Here? Yeah. That's almost... I think I'm right. That's about where it needs to be. Yep. But you can do that with grass, Sonia. You? you can do that with greenery. And of course, then you want just a little bit of an overhang. I see what you do. What? 
She. I finally watched why you pull your angles in like that. Because when you're going down, left-handed, you automatically pull to the right. Yeah. I only know this because this guy sitting at the bottom here kind of informed me that I was doing that before. Because <laughs> all my trees used to lean one way. He's like, yeah, you're painting left-handed. Stop pulling it to the right when you go down. It's like, what? Yeah. Your body's just automatically going to pull in. So you got to force yourself to kind of pull out, go outward when you pull down. See, he, Anthony's got a video of, what is it? You got like three or four videos on perspective, right? Yeah. Point, point perspective. One, three point, all kinds of different ones. Yeah, I think they were in the. Uh, either the drawing section or the one on one section on. Uh, if you go by a playlist. But yeah, they're all there. You should go check those out, Sonia. I think I'm going to have to. Yeah, because they really, really, really helped me. I mean, because really I had the same issue, exact same issue. My buildings at first look kind of. Well. Okay, let's face it. They were terrible. Really bad. And this is coming from somebody that was used to drawing electrical lines that are, you know, had to be perfect. Mm. And uh, I just couldn't. In my head, I kept looking at them thinking, well, oh, why did they look backwards? And they, my buildings still look wonky <sighs> as heck. Where the heck did that white come from? Work with it. But. I think she's got it. She just got to lift the bottom up with some grass, and I think we straighten out the building. Much easier when you've explained it. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. And like I said, I'm, I'm not. You can't explain things to me. I have to see it. Oh yeah, I get that. I'm a hands-on physical kind of person. <sighs> cool. Well, thank you, Anthony. I'll let you get back to your TV show that you were watching. Thanks, Anthony. Sure. I appreciate it, my friend. I'm going to try to see if I can... Uh... You should be able to drop the link forward. Oh, uh, let's see here. You have a wrench? Yeah. Of course he does. What am I thinking? Yeah, if you want to put one of your links to your perspective in the chat, go right ahead. Hey, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Boucher Street, I'm sure, right? Boucher Street, yeah. Boucher. I'm sorry, I'm not French. <laughs> God, I'm down my throat. Anthony, no. did, you, did you see the painting I did today? Yes, I did. The finger, nice. pa the, the finger painting? Yep, I seen that one too. <laughs> oh, man, that was not fun to do. <laughs> Finger like painting. I can't, I can't chat in this unless I leave. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot I'm on. Yeah. All oh, right, yeah. I'll take off. I'll drop the link. All right, thank you. Thanks, Anthony. All right. uh -huh. Be well. You too. Did that help? Yeah. Well, at least I know where the where the and, lines are. And on the bottom left, you you want to go up. You want to go from that point in the center. We always no over to the right. That wall line that comes down. Move your finger over the other way. Keep going. Keep going. That corner to your left corner. You actually want to head up a little bit more. Like almost clipped the bottom of your door. 
Oh, really? Yep. And there's a link to the video. The yeah, playlist. Okay. Yeah, so because your ground is going to go that way a little bit. So I actually want to bring it up at an angle, like this way? Yeah, just a little bit, not a ton. Just right where, you know, where, where I said your darker line came out a little bit? Yeah, right here. Yep. But you can do it with grass on it. You can put grass right in there or whatever you want. That's like oh. all the stuff you did on the bottom there yeah. that you were kind of freaking out about a second ago because uh -huh. I did hear you. Just put grass there. So I can just cover it up? Well, you're, you're going to need you going to put a shadow there probably anyway, like right here. Get my chair out of the way. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me turn up my light just a tiny bit. But yeah, because everything has a shadow, you know, uh -huh. you can always make a nice darker green shadow on the bottom right there. Yeah, because my light's over here. Yeah. Kind of like mine, same basic direction. Good camera, went wonky. You're fine. You did good. Camera went wonky. Just for a second. Unfocused for a second on me. Oh, wait. I took my glasses off. Never mind. Just ignore me. So did I. I don't have my glasses on either. I was, I was like, why does it look crooked? Because this is like way too close for me to even need my glasses. Yeah. And it's the one time I put glasses on. But when you're super close like that? I have to put them on a blind spot. I can't see close up. Yeah, I'm, I'm nearsighted. I don't, my distance sucks. Nope, can see miles. Now, do I need more trees? <laughs> cows. I don't know about putting cows you, in there. You have two trees. You never do things in even numbers. I know, never ever. I'm trying to think about cows. <laughs> I'm trying to think about cows. <laughs> Oh, no, I'll probably put another smaller tree or something. All right, so buttons. Yeah, don't, don't be afeard of using all kinds. Of, I mean, there's yellows and purples and siennas and all kinds of colors in that grass right there. Hey, G. Thank you. And the only other critique I can give you mm -hmm. is kind of change up your colors of your building because you're going to have different colors, different sides of it. Well, this was this was the darker side right here. Yeah. Until I started redoing everything, and this was lighter. Yeah. But now it's kind of like, well, this is lighter. Because <coughs> I kind of just went with what was left on the palette to, to fill in the, you know. Just take take your the brown that you're using and put a tiny touch of, tiny touch of white. More trees. She hasn't got the trees yet. <laughs> So get the trees in. You are putting trees in. No? Yeah, okay. eventually. Eventually. And you were freaking about your your bottom line being straight. Kind of look at your tape at the bottom. Isn't that kind of really straight? I'm just saying. Yeah, right here. Yeah. See, your line's straight. Roof, front edge, bottom will be straight. Left hand wall will be kind of tapered upward. You know, like that. Yeah. I just, you know, okay, I. 
You get it. So take your thing and take green and go straight across the bottom. Do I? Like, you know, like grass, you know, take your brush. Oh. And just kind of tap yourself in some lighter greens right there because that's... Well, this is a big splotch. Of, this is what leaked from under the tape. This is black. Yeah, well, you can cover that up with a darker green. The black won't... You won't even see it. You can actually add a little bit of purple or... Or a tiny touch of gray, red, whatever you want to your green a little bit, brown. Should I use a fan brush or should I just yeah, use the regular? Whatever you want. Put a little bit of grass in there. So you got your shadow, you know, going in the same direction that you, you know, your light source is coming from here. Mm -hmm. all, all my little poles and my trees and stuff. But then I, when I get to here, I just have to go up a little bit. Yeah. Just take your grass up that way a little bit. And you could put grass, so you know, I mean, I, I'm going to add more to this one. I'm probably going to save this one for tomorrow to finish. Oh, I know what I can do. Can I, I actually kind of like this painting. Thank you for the inspiration. <laughs> this painting's actually kind of working for me for some reason. That came out really great. Super jelly. I don't I don't do the the barns like that very much and that one is working. Should I use the brush that you gave me? Yeah. Well you can, that's kinda of big for you. Yeah. How much do you want to put down that fast? Do you have a little one like this? Yeah. Yeah, those work really good. I've been using round a lot, one of these. Well, this one's got... I got this one. Yeah. No, oh, that's a filbert. That's the uh, one I use for trees. Philly. Just a, just a smaller version of it. Mm -hmm. Pretty much anything that's got a nice, like one of these. It's got a kind of a coarser... Okay. Oh wait. Oh, wait, oh wait, oh wait, You got that one inch too. Yeah. That one. Oh, that's pretty fine. You got a coarser one, coarse hair one, or just just the fine hair ones. What about the one inch brush I gave you? This right here. This is you didn't give me a one. You only gave me a two. I only gave you a two. A slacker. Yeah. Why didn't I give you that? Yeah. That's a little, you can do that, but it that's going to be tough to handle. You won't be able to control much with it. Yeah. I mean, I got a one-inch brush, but they, I kind of stole it from work. Kind of stole it from work? Well, well there you gave, go. They gave it to me. Just don't have to put paint on the entire brush, just on one side of it. Leave uh -huh. one side Leave one side a little bit dry. So when, so when you're touching... I got one right here. Basically, put paint on this side of it, like one side. Yeah. Leave this side dry. You know, uh -huh. do this with it. So when you touch it, this part isn't. You're putting paint basically right here, so you can control it easier. Right. And then, if you want to do a larger area, put it on more of your brush. You know. But you can actually Oops. do quite a bit with these brushes. I don't use them enough. I really should. Okay. These are these are these are great for grass, by the way. Are the, these, those these cheapies you you can pick up because they they're kind of never even. They're always kind of wonky, and they're very thin, so they make really good grass. That's just a thought. Let's see what we got going on here. Nine o'clock. Wow. Sorry. Sorry. Hard to, hard to believe I'm up this late. Up my, okay. Past my bedtime. 
<laughs> not so much. You're fine. I'm not stressed out. Well, I know sometimes you have a... I already took him out. Okay. Relax. Breathe. 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 Phalo blue, phalo green. Is that what you're doing? No, this is the um. This is the the last of the sap green I had in the tube. What else color do you have? What other greens do I have? No, do you have a little brown? Yeah. Put just a little tiny bit of brown into that. Mix it. Not, I mean, just do it off to the side a little bit. Just a, because you got a brown building. Oh, I see. Okay. You're going to have a little bit of a brown tint to your grass over there. I know it sounds strange, but... Mine says, I am a lizard. <laughs> actually got a ton of them. They actually all mean something. All right, let's try this. It's a tad darker. But... And, yeah, when you get to that corner... Kind of stop. Turn your brush flat. Oh, flat. Okay. It'd be easier. For, it'd be easier for you. This brush is beat up. Yeah. I I only took it because it was free. <laughs> it looked like it would work. Yeah, right there. Don't go too far over. Because you just got a shadow on that side. Paint into your tape. Sonia on your right. And now you can go a little you can lighten that up just a tiny bit with like some yellow or something or whatever and put your grass in over here on this side of your building. Because mm -hmm. your light's bouncing off your building a little bit. Right. And then you can add your grass up to that level. Yeah, it takes a while. You'll get it. Just remember everything has a shadow. Unless it's completely straight up and down over your head, which is pretty rare. Should it go over the bottom line of the building? Or should it stop right at the bottom? No, you can go up like bushes if you want. It's totally up to you. You can put a bush right up in your building anywhere you want. If you want to make some bushes, turn it like you had the first time and just kind of just stick them up in there. Like I did with the snow today, Sonia. Yeah. You know, don't be afraid to kind of... See, this one's facing this way. Mm -hmm. See how that goes up that way? This is pretty much the shape that you're doing right now. More or less. But these are straight across. Well, my picture's crooked because I'm holding it crooked, but these are straight, the same all the way through, and then this one goes up this way. Right. But you see the snow comes all the way up in and kind of makes a mess. And I know you're visual, so that's why I was showing you that. Yeah. But yeah, you can do the same thing with bushes. You can put the bushes on up in. I'm so I should, should I start making it lighter, like right around here? Right on, right on the corner edge. Okay. You know, where's your light? Is your light here, or is your light here? It's. It's right here. No. Uh, yeah. So it would be, you know. Here, let's do it. Let's put the light there, and we can show you. It's hard to tell because this camera's sucky, but and see see the shadow. Yeah, 
That's about what it would be like with light. So right off that corner. That's I actually usually do that. You guys don't see me do it because I do it in my head, but I'll pick the point where I have my light. And then, you know. My arm's getting away. <laughs> you know that your basically your shadow line will be like that. Which mine is. So my ring light you see right there is my light source. There. Now you can see my light source. That's my light. So it's right here. So all my shadows are going to go this way. Mm -hmm. You know, so everything over here will be dark. Just, just basically like it is, you know. Kind of hard to see it. There we go. See the shadow? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Just like that. So, yeah. Your shadow would be the same direction as mine, virtually. Mm hmm So from your corner, you want a little dark, darker where you have it, and then you go a little lighter and a little lighter and a little lighter until you're really, because mine's back this way a little bit more, but basically the same direction. This one actually needs to come this way, but see if I can zoom in to show you. See all the poles? Yeah. Put your autofocus on, Bruce. Really? You need to kind of turn on the autofocus just a little bit. Kind of like that. Get it? I think so. Oh, well, you just leave it on because you're not going to be painting. There, much, much more focused. Okay, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to move my camera so you can see. There. Now can you understand? Uh, these are acrylics. Yeah, now I can really see it. Now. Yeah, I wanted to bring it in so you could understand it. Do you see what I'm saying, though? Yeah. You've got that space where the light's coming through, the space where the light's coming through, that little gap where you get a little bit of light. Um, that edge should have been a little darker. I just haven't done it yet. Stop. Stop. Doing that. I think it doesn't like my light being that close. Oh, that's what it's doing is it's hitting my light. My autofocus, my autofocus is a mess. It's just focusing all over the place. Uh oh, that's not a good thing. That's a bad thing. Uh oh. So I, mm -hmm. I'm in trouble. What happened? That's my lens cap. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. I think I just broke my lens. On my did camera. You, did you even touch your lens? Yeah, I hit my lens and I broke the... It's focused. Yeah, I'll leave it alone. We're not going to touch it, but... No, we're going to touch it. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? We're going to touch it. We touched it. We touched it. 
Okay. Does that feel better? Hold on, I'm not quite there yet. Am I there? I guess I'm there. And you could add a bush in that corner if you wanted to, right up the side, you know, put a tree there. Anything you want. You can add a tree right up that whole edge if you wanted to, Sonia. Right up against the building. Yeah. You know? Is that the angle that you were talking about? I can't yeah. really know if you can see it. Yep. Yeah. See how the building looks totally different now, though? Yeah. Yep. I mean... If you wanted it really straight, yeah, your the lines would have to be straight up and down, but your building looks more like it's been sitting there for a while. You know what I'm saying? That was the whole point. I don't know. I like I just the thing about the rustic thing just catches my eye, you know. So that's what I was you trying. Know, to the thing you want to do is just pop out that back corner. See that little tiny roof line. Back here? No, the back side. Right here where my finger is. Over here? Yeah. You want to just bring out just a little bit of a corner over there. Oh, okay. Because your roof's going to have some type of overhang. It won't be flat against the thing. Does this need to be straightened out over here? No. Looks like you got a shadow underneath it. Oh, all right. It looks like you have a big picture window in the front, too, now. Well, it, it actually is two separate ones. No, I'm at right here in the front section. Oh, on the side, okay. Yeah, they're two separate ones over here, too. Yeah. I don't know if I'd play with them very much. I think I'd... I like the way that color is. I keep forgetting your tape's right there, and you have pink tape. Mm-hmm. But I have, I have to sharpen this up over here. Yeah, it's just... Kind of bring your corner of your belly, your roof out, just your roof line out, just a tiny, tiny. I mean, you could just take your brush on you, you know, and just touch it out just a hair. Oh, okay. Yep. See? <laughs> Gotta have a little, kind of little, have a little eave there, you know, a little bit of someplace for the water to drip off. Right now, it's running into your wall, <laughs> and you've got and you've got flooding in your basement. <laughs> Just saying, unless of course you're building a salt box house, in which case that would be straight back. To, and actually, no, they have two inch overhang still. People think they're level, but they're not. They actually have a two inch little overhang. Hiccup. You can do it. You can do it. I hope I've been some kind of help tonight. Totally. I just wasn't expecting to do this. <laughs> Sorry. I'm low on watch hours. I've got some time. Nobody's here. It's a rare night for me that I don't have anybody in that room next door. Uh, then I got and lucky. And Anthony, uh, you know, he realistically is the guy that taught me, Sonia. Well, I know that. Oh, go, go, don't go out that. Turn huh? your brush. Turn your brush the same angle that you're going your roof line is. A flat? No, right here. Your roof line? Yeah. You want to bump out in this direction. Oh, I, was just, I was just trying to tighten up the line over here. It was kind of messing. Yeah, don't worry about that. You want to fix right there. Just go out just a tiny, tiny bit. And look at it and go, hmm, does that look good to me? Do I like that? You like that or do you want more? No, I think that's good. Oh, there you go. Did you see the difference in it, though? Yeah. Yep. You know? 
and some of them, I mean, some of them are huge, Sonia. You know, they go out like mine are what two feet, three feet, thirty-one inches. Oh yeah, my, my overhangs. Yeah, you can. You have lights under your overhangs. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I have one. The back one on my back deck is four feet. And the one on my front porch is four feet. The rest are two feet around the house. So. There you go. More. <laughs> More. <laughs> he wants it to be bigger. Huh? Boucher Street wants it bigger. Oh, Cindy. Cindy. The see when see this extra brown over here? Yeah. So if you don't like it, put a tree in. Well, see, this is the whole thing. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's like a tiny bit of room between the bottom of where I extended it out and and where this brown is. It's like super small. So I don't know. I guess you could, you could take green and come up against that edge, you know, that light green color, but so what was the one I showed you today? The one with in the trees? Was that today or yesterday I showed you that picture? Um yesterday. Yeah. Uh that tree that you see um it was because I messed up the corner, so I covered it with a tree. Ah. Yeah. The, the blooper reel of Vermont paint. Camouflage, camouflage, camouflage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, kind of like that. Right? <laughs> tree, tree covered, tree covered corner. Yeah. Because, well... No, uh, it needed a tree, but it was really hard to get that corner look right, so we slapped a tree on it. You need to do a blooper video. Nope. <laughs> nope. I paint live. They are what they are. Mm. There we go. We'll turn down that light just a tiny bit so it's not like totally washing out my painting. Hello, how are you? I'm not even going to try to pronounce your name. I, I've but seen... But welcome. They showed up in... Who the heck's chat was that? Vartek. Vartek. Not sure. I saw them around Can somewhere. you write out your name in, like, English spelling pronunciation so I can say it because right now all I see is Irana Irana my wife could read this I cannot <laughs> fingers on the button wait a minute how did she know hello Ibran how did she know what it was? She, apparently she can read it. Welcome. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you're enjoying the painting. I'm probably going to finish this tomorrow. Because I'm unsure what to do. And that and I'm probably going to put cows in it. I don't know yet. Maybe sheep. I don't know. Maybe so goats. Could actually put ostriches. <laughs> ostriches. Just saying. It, two trees is kind of weird for me, so I'm going to have to add something else to it, but maybe just a tiny tree. Ostriches. Nell's right. It does kind of have that kind of lonely, kind of abandoned farm look, doesn't it? 
No. Unless that's what you were going for, but I don't think nope. so. No, nope, but that, you know, that's kind of like what everything around me looks like. Just saying. Focus, stop playing with the focus on my camera. You stop focusing. Anyway. That's what it does. Yeah, we're going to stop it from doing it. Hopefully it stayed in focus when I did it. Agreed. Needs more trees. Sonia needs trees. I know she, I need trees. She'll Look, get to the trees. We'll, we'll but, be here like there'll be a marathon if, I, if you keep... Uh... <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, am actually, not, I am not fast, okay? <laughs> Sonia will, Sonia will have a part two to her painting also. She's going to keep working on it. Well, I'll give you guys an update as she goes. And we'll show you what her painting looks like when she's done, hopefully. If I'm brave enough. I could, Tony. I could. Because well, um, 5,000 paintings. How many have you done now? You mean how many good ones or how many? Old how many have? paintings? 50, give or take? Yeah. Yeah, this is somewhere around number 5,000. Okay, um, so like you're in for, you're in like high school. I'm, I'm in like, I'm in second grade <laughs> and <laughs> you're in high school. That's what happened, see? You get really good when you first start out, and then in high school, you lose concentration. Hey, Daryl. Hey, Daryl. Hey, you. Have you? Do not say a word, Daryl. What is have you? Have you, though? H-W-L-L-O. It must be one of those Canadian things. It's possible. Just saying. Wait, I think call him D3. Ow. <laughs> uh, I didn't say a word, Sonia. But there you go. He asked who the kid was that was painting. Thanks, Dal. And Sonia, she'd be happy to be called a kid. Trust me, she's good with that. <laughs> Look at that, you got younger just you know, being on the live stream. What? Where'd you go? I'm here. Put your picture back up. Wait. Um. <laughs> you did it to me. No, I think you did a great job. The fix, the fix looks wonderful. See the difference in it? Getting there. Oh. You see what I'm saying is that it's really about picking, giving yourself a spot, finding a spot for yourself. You really need to actually on your tape, you know, with a pen or something, mark a spot so you can do your, so you can either, you know, you need to pick some spot to do your perspective correctly, whether it's this side over here, you know, Way over here somewhere or over here somewhere. But there's got to be some perspective to your, your buildings. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, every building, every drawing has a perspective to it. Drafting 101 perspective. So the video that Anthony dropped in there, Sonia? Yeah. Go check out that playlist, really. It'll help you so much because it's visual. You can sit there and he's telling you exactly how to draw it with a ruler. You know, don't be afraid to draw it with a ruler. Don't be afraid to pencil it in there. You know? And that's I what I need to do because I can't do it by... I mean, look at the one that... 
I did from the picture that Bree sent me. That was done with the picture sitting next to me. Do you have watercolor pencils? No. Or pick up some of these. These are acrylic pens. That's actually not an ink pen. That's an acrylic pen. Well, I have two of those. That's what I do my musical note in. Yeah. So, you know, you can... Nice thing about it is they come in a package of... Where did I put them? Yep. We did... Oh, right here. <sighs> These are gel pens. But they come in... Yeah, those this are many cheap. color. What? They're not cheap. Well, I know they're not cheap. But... I mean... You know. They're a great investment because, you know, if you know that you're going to be doing a green background, draw your lines in green, you know, or whatever. Just put your lines down and then draw, like, brown, whatever colors you're going to do your building in. That way, when you paint it, your colors don't go freaking crazy on you. Freaking, freaking. Notice I don't swear people. Just don't. Doesn't find the effort. What is the? What did you think of that? Well, you can't even really see it. How did the sky come out? Did you see? Sky came out great. I saw the clouds. Okay. Yeah, you've got that all figured out. It's all about relaxing and just let it go. You're almost overthinking yourself. Like I've told you, like a bazillion times already. It's so hard not to do. Yeah, I told you, the, one of the first conversations I had with Anthony was get out of your head, you know, stop overthinking. Because that's what I was, that's what I always did. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up people because, you know, YouTube likes it and, well, hey, wait. Why does that one have a dislike thing still there? Oh, it doesn't give the count. It just it doesn't give the count. It just keeps the thumb. Oh. Well, you guys can hit the dislike if you want. It's totally up to you. I don't care. Okay, I do care. Hit the thumbs up. Yes. But I'm going to head out. Thank you, everybody, for stopping in and hanging out with me tonight for our surprise pop-up with Sonya. Hopefully we can do this again sometime, and next time I probably won't just spring it on her. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I will. Because <laughs> otherwise she'll say no. <laughs> I think she did a great job. Hey, Scott, just in time for me to say goodbye. Hey, Scott. Um, we'll finish this one tomorrow. Sonya will finish hers when she gets around to it. It's not a sprint. It's just a journey. But thank you all and much peace to you all. Have a great evening. And I will see you all soon. Thanks, Nell. Thank you, Nell. Thank you, Madonna. Thank you, Nodge. Scott. Daryl. Cookie. Thank you, Anthony, so much for hanging out. I appreciate it very much so. He's a great teacher. He really is. And thank you to everyone else that was hanging out. Cookie and everyone else. Boucher, Boucher Street. Who did I miss? Anybody? Somebody I can't pronounce. I'm sorry. Tommy Travels. Thank you very much. Wait. Naj, Arlene, Hillbilly, Madonna, Anthony, Nell, Cookie, Boucher Street, Irving with G, Tommy Travels. Fan City Adventures, Adventures of Scott and Beck, and our friend from wherever, <laughs> like in Russia or Ukraine or one of those places. Over there. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I will see you guys all again soon. Much peace to you all.